Let's talk about Alaska and tours. So day two, we arrived in Sitka. If this is your first time joining us, I'm Gina, this is Doe, Isabella, and Vincent, and we are Ohana Eats. Our Ohana loves to eat and travel all over the world, and we love sharing every adventure with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for a trip of a lifetime in Alaska. The most important thing whenever you're doing a tour on any ship and any destination is that you know what time you need to be back onto the ship by. And if it's me, I always like to pad it by at least an hour. I like to make sure that I'm back in plenty of time. So we decided to take an independent tour. We did not use the Norwegian tour for this one. And sometimes you're gonna find the cost is a lot less and sometimes it's right around the same. If it's around the same, I will usually go with the Norwegian tour but in this particular case I really like this tour because it was a small group not a big bus and so that's why we chose to go with fair enough tours the second that we pulled into Sitka we noticed that we had a beautiful sunny day which apparently is pretty rare for this area we disembarked the ship and then you go through this terminal where there is a complimentary shuttle to get to the downtown area so if you're taking an independent tour you're gonna get onto this free shuttle and you're gonna go straight downtown to the visitor center once you get to the visitor center you're going to see the signs for tours and excursions we found baron off right away and we got right onto our bus the bus held about 14 people and they gave us this absolutely beautiful tour of the city and then we got onto the highway pretty much everywhere you look you can see snow-capped mountains it was really gorgeous in this area and then we saw this beautiful lake and they said if we had time later they were going to stop by our first stop was fortress of the bear now this is a facility that tries to save as many endangered bears as possible Hello oh, everybody, so we are over at the Fortress of the Bear and we are checking out some brown bears and some black bears. They are literally right behind me swimming. Wait till you guys check this place out. As soon as we arrived, our tour guide told us that these were the bears we were going to see. Of course he was joking, he was so funny. Go. Then they take you to this outdoor facility and you can see all kinds of wildlife. We saw these bald eagles. It was really amazing to see them up close. The one was definitely a little bit aggressive. Him and the other guy didn't seem to get along too well. And then we were able to see the mom and her cubs. The mom was kind of checking everything out and looking around. She also went over to the water area and she took a little sip of water so that was really cool to watch and then after she was done drinking she got up on her hind legs to check all of us out when you see the sheer size of these bears it's really impressive after a little bit of time of looking at us we saw her turn around and we realized one of her cubs was coming out of the little forest area there and then we went over to the other side where we checked out some brown bears sleeping. This one little bear was taking a bath almost the whole time we were there. He seemed to be having a pretty good day. And then he decided to walk near where we were behind the glass. He was kind of just checking everybody out. After seeing the bears, we checked out some facts about bears inside. And then we got on the road and got some really great pictures in front of this lake. Next up, we headed to the Alaska Raptor Center. This was in a really woodsy area. You got to check this out. Okay, so we are over at the Raptor center and they have bald eagles both inside and outside one of them has been to 49 of the 50 states with Hawaii being the only one that it couldn't get into because of all of our restrictions but it is 35 years old how amazing is that so on the inside there were a bunch of eagles that were being rehabbed so that hopefully they can get back into the wild they also have this theater area where they give speeches and presentations and then a souvenir shop we found out that if anybody picks up an eagle feather you can be charged a hundred thousand dollar fine okay we are outside right now and i am going to show you these eagles it is amazing to see up close we learned all about the golden eagle and the bald eagle and we really got an up close and personal view of these guys some of the impressive facts that we learned about these eagles are that they have a wingspan anywhere between six to eight feet this guy was super impressive to look at and man he was really paying attention to all the tourists looking at him they also have this beautiful deck area where you can see lots of bald eagles just in their element. They seem to all have their own little area over there and none of them really interacted much with each other. After we saw the bald eagles, we also went to check out some of the other creatures. This owl was a little bit camera shy, but he was really beautiful to look at up close. There's also a hiking trail over there where you can see this beautiful brook. 
So we're at the National Park over in Sitka. We're at the Visitor Center. There's lots of totem poles here. There's a really great walkway and a little hike as well. And there's an absolutely stunning view of the water, the mountains, and everything in between. So take a look at this. So Sitka National Park was the last stop on our tour. The view is gorgeous. The trails everybody seemed to enjoy. The totem poles were absolutely amazing to look at. Each one was carved with such different features. And I love checking out the inside as well because the whole facility pays homage to the Tlingit Indians. And there were so many cool artifacts everywhere inside of this building. The theater also put on several shows, which gave you a whole insight into the Tlingit Indians and a lot of their practices. After we saw a little bit of the video, we went into the area where they had some relics. This is definitely worth checking out. They showed everything from the beading to how they fished, and then of course, an entire area of their totem poles. When we finished, we went outside and this was the view. It is so quiet and peaceful. This rocky beach actually shows you right where the volcano is, which was pretty awesome to see. Then we went into town where we tried a reindeer hot dog. Apparently it's about 50% reindeer and the rest is beef. They said top it with the chili and the toppings and here we go. All right, reindeer hot dog. I think we all agreed the best way to describe it is like a gourmet hot dog. Okay, Gourmet part. It does taste slightly more gourmet. It tastes like a premium hot dog. Yeah. Next up, we went to a food truck that was nearby. They had Alaskan crab mac and cheese. Now this dish, it was okay, but it was a little bit heavy for us. Belle wasn't so sure about that one. But then we did try their black cod. They ran out of rice, but we had french fries. Now the black cod was really awesome. We loved the flavor of that fish. It is a surprisingly sunny day in Sitka and we are checking out the Burger and Crab Shack. We were told to check out some salmon, so we did that and now we're over here at the Crab Shack. Let's see how it is. We're over here at the Crab Shack in Alaska getting some Alaskan crab legs. One crab leg, 46 bucks. It's not cracking. It's like soft. It is probably one of the sweetest crab legs I've ever had. Wow. Okay. Cooked perfectly. The texture is shredded. It has like almost like a buttery flavor to it, and I didn't even dip it. This is actually really good. After the crazy expensive crab leg, we checked out St. Mark's Cathedral, which has been there since 1848, except for when it burnt down in 1966, but then it was later rebuilt. Then we went into the souvenir shop that had fudge. Now this is right across from the visitor center. I love fudge. That's so good. That is so good. I love fudge. Can I get another bite? It's so good. So it has a very generic peanut butter and chocolate taste. That's not a bad thing. That's good. But the texture, I just love the texture of fudge. It's like creamy and chewy. Yeah, that's great. All right, I'm trying some of Vince fudge over here. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. We should get another piece. Yeah, we should. It literally melts. The chocolate and peanut butter come together. It does not taste like a Reese's. It actually just tastes like pure peanut butter and chocolate and it just combines perfectly together. This awesome piece of fudge. I will throw all the links for everywhere that we went down below. If you have any questions or comments or wanna share your favorite activities in Alaska, I would love to hear from you. So please write it in the comment section. As always, stay safe and aloha.